just above our dry creek bed, this great horned owl has a favorite roosting spot where he likes to come and hang out during the day. And this was in early September of 2020, and it was a rainy day. It, was, it had been raining, and it was still kind of uh, sputtering around uh, when this great horned owl arrived with a, a bird that he had just killed. It's in the early evening, and it's quite unusual for us to see the owl actually bring in prey and eat it. Uh, he does hang out here and just sleep and, you know, uh, just, you know, hang around at this spot. Uh, but we've never before seen him actually bring in something and, and eat it. He was only up there from start to finish for like five minutes or so. He ate this rather large bird a lot faster than we see the hawks eating a bird. The hawks can take forever, uh, like an hour or two. And this guy made quick work of it and swallowed substantial parts of it whole and seemed to contemplate whether he was going to have indigestion at various times for obvious reasons. Uh, you'll see in a minute he uh, swallows a giant hunk of it. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you kind of what becomes of the things that the owls eat whole like this. Um, we haven't seen them yak up a, a bird, but they, they'll yak up these pellets uh, after they've digested what they can digest out of them. There he goes with a big old hunk that he is actually going to swallow. And they'll uh, regurgitate these things that are called pellets, which are basically all of the undigestible portions, which are mainly hair and bones and feathers in the case of a bird. But the one I'll show you here is a rat, uh, kind of medium-sized rat it looks like. And I'll uh, show you his skull uh, that comes back up, truly packed with hair. It, and by the time I disassembled it, it was as though somebody had taken this thing apart, stuffed it tightly uh, with, with hair, and then put it back together. Uh, and obviously that's not what happened, uh, but it certainly looked like it. And, and they'll yak up a bunch of the you know, rat bones and, and whatnot uh, with it. So he, this owl here, he kind of flew up to a spot and then just stayed briefly and looked like he was eyeing somebody else uh, down creek there and uh, went after them. But here's a little bit of this uh, rat uh, skull. The, the nose is facing to the left in the screen and just a few of the bones that we found with it and then disassembled it, unpacked it, and you can see the two lower jaw bones there and then finally kind of held it together here just to give you an idea of uh, what it actually looks like reassembled. 